Bruce, welcome to Noon and Smash video. I guess you've already seen it. This is the Windows 2000 professional setup on the Acer Aspire 3000. Yes, I'm going to do make a dual boot with Windows 2000 Pro and Windows Vista Home Premium Lite. Now I've got one gigabyte of RAM. I can easily run Windows Vista. I've always loved Windows Vista for some reason. So. Uh, well, that suits my problems, and for compatibility issues, I could always go and log on to Windows 2000. Windows 2000 has always worked uh, fine on this laptop, so I don't see a reason why it shouldn't work well this time. I've got all my drivers backed up on the USB thumb drive here. It's 4 gigabytes in size. It's plenty. I've also got Office on this. Office and that kind of stuff, so oh, I'm going to install that in Windows Vista. So, it's going to reboot my computer. I'm going to pull out the CD and hit enter. So, what I'm going to do in this video is show you the rest of the installation of Windows 2000, and then I'm going to show you the installation of Windows Vista, and then the dual boot options between the two. So now it's going to Windows 2000 setup. There we go. Very nice Windows 2000 splash screen. Next week I'm going to upgrade to an AMD Turion processor. That's a 1.8 gigahertz. Should be pretty nice. Hmm, ah, oh, no mouse, no mouse support. Damn. That could be a problem. See? Nothing is happening. The cursor stays where it is. Oh well. So this is the part where nothing is really happening, so I'm just going to skip it. So back at sec back at setup. I'm going to next. I'm going to type in my name. Just my first name of course. And I'm going to put in my key code. And there we go. Hmm, only capital letters apparently. don't need an admin password. Just gonna go next. Time zone is correct. That's going to install networking. Right, so setup is finishing. It says setup finished. This is going to be the first boot of Windows 2000. First real boot after install, which means this is going to be the end of part one. No, didn't want to spit out the CD. There we go, Windows 2000 booting up. And 2005 laptop. Nice resolution. Network identification. Don't have a password. 
At least I've got a mouse now, as you can see. Finally. And there we go, we're at the desktop. Let's see if we can change the resolution a bit. Well, we can get the 16 colors, 800 by 600 pixels. This is the max resolution I can go at the moment without my video drivers. Lucky they're stored on my thumb drive. Right, so this was this is the end of part one. I'm also making a part two showing you the performance of the system. I mean, no, part two is installing Windows Vista. And then part three will be running Windows 2000. And part four will be running Windows Vista. I thank you all for watching part one and tune in for the other parts.